Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today we're going to talk about the Actions panel in Illustrator and how you can use it to automate mundane tasks and speed up your workflow. When you open the Actions panel, you'll see the default set, and these come preloaded with Illustrator. In this set are various actions to perform various tasks, and each action has a series of steps. The Delete Unused Panel items, for example, goes to the Symbols panel and selects all of the unused ones and then deletes them, and does the same with the graphic styles, the brushes, and the swatches. So keep an eye on these panels while I click to play this action, and you can see how quickly those things are performed, much faster than you could have done it manually. Taking a closer look at the panel itself, from the flyout menu at the top you can choose Action Options, and that lets you rename an action or change the set that it's in, and it also lets you assign a function key to it. If you're doing something repeatedly, it's nice to use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to choose F2 for this action, and I'm unable to select Shift as a modifier because that keyboard shortcut is already in use. So I'll choose Command F2. You can also give it a color, and the color refers to how it's displayed when the panel is set to button mode. Button mode means that you can just click once on the button to perform the action. And here's the one that I just made orange, and it also lists the modifier key in the action's name. So let's create a new set and a simple action. Click on the little folder icon at the bottom of the panel to make a new set, and I'll just name it My Actions, and then you can click the New Action icon at the bottom, or also choose it from the flyout menu. Something I do a lot is place a source image on my artboard, so I'm going to set up an action to do that. I'll give it a function key, Shift F1, and then press the Record button. Since the Place command is a file menu item, I'll have to choose Insert Menu Item from the Flyout menu. And this can be a little confusing because normally when you have a dialog box open, you can't access the menu items. But in this case, you can choose any menu item and add it to your action, so I'll choose File Place. So there it is in my set, and I can press the Play button, or since I've set up the keyboard shortcut, I can just press Shift F1 and the Place dialog box appears. It may seem like a small thing, but if you do it over and over again, it does add up. Another thing to note about the Actions panel is this little icon here, which toggles on and off any dialog that is present in the action. For example, if I play this Shear action, the dialog box opens, allowing me to change the angle or the orientation. But if I turn off the dialog box, it will just perform the transformation based on the settings that are in the action. Actions are great when you need to perform the same steps on a large number of files. So I'm going to create an action step by step, and then I'll run it on an entire folder full of images. Let's say you have to send a bunch of files to a printer, and they have to be black and white and in EPS format. I'll click Record and then perform the steps. I'm going to select All, and then Group, and you can see that these steps are being added as it records them. Then I'll go to Edit, Edit Color, Convert to Grayscale, and lastly Save as EPS. So I'll go to File, Save As, choose EPS as the format, and just to make it interesting, let's say it has to be in version 8. Then to stop recording, click the Stop button at the bottom of the panel. Now let's play that action on a folder full of files. Choose Batch from the flyout menu, and in the Batch dialog box, you get to pick which set the action comes from, and the action, there it is, the one that we just recorded. The source is a folder. I have a folder full of butterfly files, and I can tell Illustrator to open the files in that folder. The destination I also want in a folder. I want to put them in a different folder, and I've already set that up. This checkbox is very important, because in the action that I recorded, I saved the file to the desktop. So I have to click Override Action Save Commands, so it will put the new files in my folder. We'll have it stop if there are any errors, so we can troubleshoot them. And then click OK, and you can see that each file is opened, the action is performed, and then it's saved to the destination folder. And this is the kind of thing that computers do best. So if you had a hundred of these to do, you could create an action, set it up to batch process, go get a cup of coffee, and when you come back, your files will be done.